Good morning and a, a warm welcome to our United Benefice Eucharist. Uh, it's good to um, be with you this morning uh, and I hope you'll uh, be able uh, to join uh, us today. Um, we've now moved uh, over to the uh, parish of uh, Kingston Busey Facebook page, uh, mainly so that we're able to um, open it up uh, to more people um, so that those who are not registered on Facebook uh, have access to this live stream as well. Uh, as always, uh, at the end of the service, um, I'll be uploading uh, the video uh, onto uh, YouTube so you'll be able to review the video there as well. Um, so uh, let us uh, have a few moments uh, as we come uh, before God uh, in prayer. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, Alleluia. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Let us uh, come to God and uh, say sorry for those things which we have uh, done and for those that we have left undone. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father, to God be glory forever, to God be glory forever, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To God be glory forever, to God be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. To God be glory forever, to God be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you, 
in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the Acts of the Apostles, the second chapter, verse 14a and verses 22 to 32. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. You are the Israelites. Listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, the man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know. This man handed over to you according to the definite plan and for knowledge of God. You crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of your ancestor David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on the throne. Foreseeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle is taken from the first letter of Peter, the first chapter beginning to read at the third verse. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold through perish though perishable, is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him, now you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. 
After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, one and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. May all hear your words to us today. May we be filled with hope, filled with the knowledge that you came and showed yourself to your disciples. And in the same way, although we do not see, you come into our midst today. Lord Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry and nourish us all with your word. We pray especially for those who have been uh, forgotten at this time, especially those who are uh, suffering hunger in parts of the world that have been uh, forgotten while we're so consumed with our own issues. We pray for those in our own communities who are struggling at this time to 
feed their families who are feeling the um, the pressure with jobs uh, lost and uh, income dwindling no uh, school free school meals and we pray for all who um, are worried about how to feed themselves the next day be there for them and send them people who uh, do uh, care jesus lord of life in your mercy hear us jesus our way our truth our life be with us and all who follow you in the way deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. And we pray especially for all those uh, in need in our parishes today, for all whom we know who are in need of your healing and blessing today. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. We pray especially uh, for those who have died recently. We pray for God Cousins and Father Tom. We pray also for those uh, who we remember at this time of the year. Pray for uh, Elkin Shetley, for Wynne Cousins, Maureen Brown and Ruth Clark. Raise us with them to eternal life. Jesus, Lord of life. In your mercy, hear us and accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And so let us share uh, remotely the peace with one another. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In your loving care you spread before us the table of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of our Saviour and our Shepherd, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Nicholas, Julian, Giles, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, through our Saviour Jesus Christ, you have assured your children of eternal life and in baptism have made us one with him. Deliver us from the death of sin and raise us to new life in your love in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say, Father of all, from the gift of the earth, you feed us with the bread of heaven. Help us to treasure all your gifts and be the wind of change in our family, amongst our friends and in our community. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And just a, a couple of quick notices um, at this point. Um, uh, apologies at this stage um, that I uh, didn't send round uh, uh, um, order of service for Eastertide. I thought I had one um, uh, on uh, file, but um, I needed to put something together quickly that we could use uh, at this time. And there wasn't quite enough time uh, to send that round and I couldn't uh, put it on the Facebook uh, page uh, because there's no way of putting a file on there which I was I tried to do this morning um, so I'll be sending the, you'll be getting um, the, the um, service sheet uh, order of service for Eastertide in your newsletter uh, next week and I've just while going through the service noticed that there were one or two little errors in there so uh, we'll get them fixed and then uh, send out uh, the newsletter um, uh, newsletter to you, uh, not the news, together with the newsletter, send you out the order of service um, so that you can follow what we're doing here uh, on Sundays and you can use that all the way until Pentecost and then we'll send out something new. Um, it's great uh, to have uh, you with us. Um, I hope you've all had uh, the newsletter. Um, all uh, information is in there. Um, and just a little bit of a, a, a plea again. Um, uh, if you've got anything that you would like to add to the newsletter, please do uh, let me have it. Um, it'd be lovely just to be able to have a space where we can uh, share things with one another. But that um, some of our members who can't uh, um, uh, go online uh, are kept in the loop as well with things that are um, kind of going on. And so if there's anything there that you would like to uh, share, uh, then please uh, let me have it uh, and I shall uh, make sure that that goes into the into the newsletter. Um, 
and it's also a way of kind of keeping in touch and and, and keeping things going um so that's uh, that's i think all i've got to say so let's uh, um go uh, with god's blessing oh i did forget one thing um to say um there will be uh, two extra live streams this week as we will be uh, celebrating st george um on the 23rd uh, we uh, will have the service on um uh, at 7.30 in the evening to celebrate St George Day um, and then St Mark uh, on the 25th on Saturday and so we'll be celebrating that um, on uh, this coming Saturday um, and we'll yeah so that will uh, be at uh, nine nine o'clock I think I said um, we'll have that at the same time that we usually would have morning prayer uh, over at uh, St Nicholas. Um, so please do join us for that uh, as well and we'll be back here uh, for 10 o'clock. Um, as always the Eucharist will be now on the Parish of Kingston Busey uh, Facebook page. Evening prayer uh, will remain over on my own uh, uh, profile page. Um, so let's uh, go with God's blessing. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. God, the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God, the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. He is not here. He is risen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia.